Hello everybody. This is my Adam's Family sketchbook. Wednesday sketchbook all combined with a whole bunch of different characters. Uh, this one I'm painting today is Wednesday, the Cat Wednesday. I'm using some Roman Schmal um, watercolors. Here I'm taking away some colors so that's not too uh, saturated with the blue. I only did try to do one to two layers on this sketchbook uh, in the watercolor because it's not a watercolor sketchbook. It's a very cheap sketchbook. So I was just trying to make it work and trying out new things. Um, I've been trying to figure out a way to do portraits in the sketchbook and, and it's been really interesting. <laughs> um, I've tried uh, watercolor, I've tried different kinds of watercolor, I've tried pencil crayons, I've tried pastel crayon or pencil crayons, uh, watercolor crayons, and then I end up with a combination, not in this film, but uh, in the end I end up using watercolor as a base, watercolor crayons over top, then either um, use water to dilute them a little bit, you know, to activate them, and then possibly pencil crayons over top to add some highlights. So it's been working out pretty good now, but um, this is actually still one of my favorites. I find that some of the paper works really well and some of it just doesn't. So I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's just me or I erase too much, but it was an interesting experiment anyways. I filled uh, 50, I've done 50 different um, illustrations, drawings, colorings, whatever you want to call them. And I have one left to draw and uh, I think about seven more to color and then I will be done with this sketchbook. And I'm actually looking forward to it. It's been a few months of working on this. Uh, anyways. So this one here, I definitely use a limited color palette and uh, it was very like kind of cool colors. I really enjoyed this one and it was very simple. Um, you'll see uh, maybe later on I'm going to make stickers out of them and it look, they look really cool. So hopefully you'll tune in for that and check it out. And just to be a broken record like everybody, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps everybody and gets your my channel seen. I'm just starting out. Um, this is where I start adding the jelly roll. And I learned very quickly that this does not work over top of this paper or this watercolor. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> I don't really know about jelly rolls very well. So I learned very quickly um, to get some gouache, which I actually learned in the sketchbook, which, oh, I forgot to mention, I also did, did some portraits in gouache. Uh, it was fun to play around, I have to say. At first, I was very frustrated, but um, I ended up learning a new uh, medium. So it was, uh, I'm pretty impressed with myself, uh, I have to say. Um, I think they look pretty cool. Um, maybe I'll show them or they'll be in the final sketchbook reveal or whatnot. So in this one, it actually did work, probably because I didn't have that many layers on it. But later on, I'll, I don't know. I don't think I videoed them so much. Um, but I got rid of, uh, using this jelly roll. And here's some final details of adding the little hair. This is like, to me, the little finishing touches that make the painting really cool. Um, just adding the little details on makes it look, um, more interesting. I remember when I first started working in this sketchbook, I tried uh, Daniel Smith watercolors at first and for some reason I convinced myself that they just didn't work I'm not really sure why I think it was just me honestly now because I've tried them again and they work just fine in the sketchbook uh, I think I just need to learn to cope with it so it's, it's kind of funny in my opinion so anyways um uh, these are the final little touches that I'm adding. Um, the hair, adding a little crinkly hair to the braid and so on. Um, thank you so much for watching and here you go. Bye.